Opposition leaders in the Democratic Republic of Congo want President Joseph Kabila gone. He has overstayed his mandate by a year and says he'll stay for another. They left the security of this residence in Kinshasa prepared to start bloody clashes to run him out. Kabila promised to crack down if they went ahead. This was the two sides colliding. Police fired tear gas to disperse the protesters outside the home of the leader of the opposition coalition, Felix Chizikedi. Two opposition leaders were locked up as their followers fueled nationwide protests. Today we are participating in a march of anger. A march of anger, we say to Kabila. No, never again. Kabila took office in 2001 after his father was assassinated. His second term as president ended in December 2016. He refused to step down, and the UN says Congolese security forces killed 40 people who protested the decision. 460 were arrested. Now Kabila says he'll stay for another year because there are delays in registering millions of voters. Today, I dare him to use all available means to beat us. But he needs to keep in mind that past December 30th, we'll chase him out of the country, even if we pay for it with our blood. Opposition voices can be heard binding the fractured country from all corners, even in the troubled east, a thriving battleground between rebels. They want a transition to a new president from December 31st, and they want Kabila to have no part in it. Those who've seen the results of previous tensions in the DRC will be hoping Kabila's next move is one of de-escalation. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.